so they can reach it from the air. Hold these bricks and help gently pull the tissue apart. I wanted to set out to save a person's life and, uh, you know, through technological innovation and, uh, you know, really uplift the human spirit. Um, I had these high ideals and, and now to see it actually coming to life and see, you know, real surgeons come in and like try it out and go, I get this. This is really useful. It's just, it's fantastic. We're going to put you in VR. Sure, yeah, that's great. Okay. That's really cool. Shall you do it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do it. <laughs> that was very, very realistic. Um, the, the depth uh, with your hands and the instrumentation with your hands felt actually quite natural. Uh, the distance when I moved my hand felt like what I would move in real life, uh, which, was, which was really neat and intriguing. Um, you did get a fairly uh, realistic idea in terms of your depth perception as well. Um, in terms of where to place insurance, how, what kind of depth the patient is away from. It's very cool. At some point in time, you might, uh, we might see where we can actually take the, the uh, simulated environment and make it a case-specific environment. That is, you have somebody with a you know, particularly challenging disease or surgery coming up, and the surgeon themselves could actually run through it and have the imaging and, the, uh, and different parts of it built into the software so the surgeon can actually have an opportunity to practice a case before they actually do that particular case. Mm -hmm.